I hate to say this, but I give up. Despite my best efforts this season, I don't think I'm making it all the way to 100 wins in rank. Right now, I'm sitting at 87 wins, but I don't see myself getting the next 13. Uh, I'll explain more while we're in game. So I've been trying to win at least a few games of rank today. Sometimes I get those wins, sometimes I don't. I mean, a lot of times I don't, but my goal was to at least get like three wins a day and then I could be done. And then sometimes, you know, I don't have the time in the day to play ranked. I'm doing something different. I'm working on another video or I'm just not home. And I'm like, you know what? There's like nine days left in the season. I can make it up. Well, there's a day and 14 hours left and I still need 13 wins. And so now that I've seen that there's like not that much time left, I spent all day yesterday just grinding out wins. At the start of yesterday, I think I had like 67 wins, something like that. So I've made it a long way in the last 24 hours, but now it's just, it, it seems like I'm plateauing. And now I'm only getting like one win an hour, which is ridiculous. And you know, I've been through my fair share of bad luck uh, around the time, like 20 days left in the season. There was that bug where if somebody's just, you know, being a, a bad sport and they don't want to, you know, continue out the game because it's like they're losing one of their friends can just leave the game and it just cancels it so fortunately they fixed that but uh it seems a little too little too late i've been trying like hell you know you only need to win 100 games here in ranked i think i uh have probably played about close to like 150 maybe 170 nearing around the 200 games range this season and i'm still not at 100 wins and I have seen that uh, somebody's been commenting like, hey, you know, I got a group of three people. We play like every day and we get a decent amount of wins. Uh, you're you're welcome to join us. I appreciate it, but mainly I just play when I can, you know, fit in some time, you know, to, to play a few ranked games. So I don't want other people waiting on me. But when I did try to play with some other people, like uh, a few of my friends saw that I've been trying to get to 100 wins and don't have like that much time left. So they wanted to, you know, try to help me out. And this was just like a day or two ago that they wanted to hop in and play but since they don't play cod a whole lot they're only like uh bronze rank and uh like rank 11 or something like that which isn't an issue because i know they can play well they just don't play cod a whole lot but they're like the rank discrepancy and us only have three people on our team instead of like a full made team was making it so we could not queue into a game. Like they could not find a lobby of players that match like that weird, you know, rank discrepancy. So I couldn't even play with people if I wanted to. At least that's what COD's telling me. But all the other times that I'm playing, it seems like I go to the absolute limit of the game. I've mentioned before that I hate search and destroy because every single time I play it, it goes each team wins five rounds and then I lose in the very last round which is like the most frustrating thing. It's like you, you spend the maximum amount of time just to get nothing out of it. Ooh, there we go. Quick little streak. But the same thing's been happening for me in like control. It'll be like one team wins two rounds. The other team wins two rounds. And then in the very last round, I lose. Hard point, that, that's the mode that I never really have any issues with. I mean, I'll still be losing in hard point, but... It's just, you know, nonstop fighting. You know, you fight for each hard point. And it's not like you have to play a certain amount of rounds just to win it. It just, you either win it or you don't. But you can say I'm unlucky. You can say I'm just ass. Probably are, both are valid. But uh, just something going on this time around. The COD gods out there don't want me having this camo. This is like the camo curse times a million. Because most of the time it's like, oh, you just can't get any long shots. It might take an extra hour or two. This time, the only way to get this camo is to win in ranked. And I just can't do that. Hold on, let me try using my cruise missile real quick. Maybe we can uh, change this around around. Okay. I got an enemy and a teammate, so fair game. But ranked was like uh, my favorite mode in this game when it was added in. I felt like it was a lot of fun. You know, it added extra stakes to just playing normal COD. And on top of that, you know, having an extra like exclusive camo for it is cool. But this time around, I don't know. It, it felt like nothing really changed with rank. It's just like, okay, we reset everything, do it again. And on top of that, the rewards this time around are kind of ass. Like, I don't really even like this season's ranked camo, but I was still going for it just to have it. And I figured if I could get the this ranked camo, nice. I didn't even mean to kill my teammate there. He kind of just ran in front of me. Well, that sucks. 
But I figured, you know, I'll just get the ranked camo, the multiplayer one first, and then we'll move on over to Warzone, and I'll try to get those 500 wins to get that one. But we're still working on the multiplayer rank, so... I don't think I'm getting either of them. And it doesn't seem like a whole lot even changes with ranked, like what I was saying. Like, there's no weapon meta differences. There's no different maps besides, like, Himala Expo. And even then, I don't really like playing on that map too much. It's always, like, a control game that just is completely lopsided. I don't know. I, I feel like I might not even go for the ranked camo next season unless it looks really cool, which I'm hoping it doesn't because I'm, I'm, I'm about done with ranked. It just takes so much time to get to where I want to get to just uh, to not use the reward that I get. Because last season when I got the ranks camo, I don't think I used it outside of me putting it on the gun to look at it right after we unlocked it. After that, I have not touched the camo. I was just trying to get it till I have it, you know? And I don't know if it's going to change very much going into season four. And another thing about season four is I don't think I'm going to be here right at the launch. Like, I'll be here when the update goes live and I'll be streaming it. But uh, I'm going on a family trip and we had this planned out for a long time. And I just, I don't know, I didn't, for I forgot to check to see what dates it was or whatever. To, if there was an update on that day, but we're leaving the day of the season four update. So I'm streaming and then I am going to be out of here. So I'll have some videos planned ahead of time. Uh, probably like some Cold War videos. Because like all the Modern Warfare stuff I'll be doing will be out of date since, you know, it won't be coinciding with the new season. But I'll go and get, like, the new weapons all, like, Gold and Orion, you know, uh, a few days later. We'll, we'll be a little, a little late to the party, but maybe by then uh, I, I can see, you know, how the season's panning out. Because to be honest, I'm not too excited for Season 4. Not that I don't think it's going to have anything good in it. It's just, like, I don't know. I'm not as, like, into this game as I have been other CODs. Like, I feel like after Vanguard, I haven't been all there for each update. I thought this COD was going to be different. Like, it being Modern Warfare 2, I thought there was going to be some Modern Warfare 2 stuff. But I think we're, we're this far into it where we're not getting any of that. But I think we are getting at least two new guns, which I'm going to have fun doing. Uh, like, getting those unlocked. And we're getting, like, a new Warzone map. So that'll be cool, even though I'm not like too big into Warzone, seeing another map come in is fun. And just a little cherry on top of this, uh, just like a little bit ago, I was on Twitter and I saw Charlie Intel put out that uh, the FTC is blocking or like filing to block. I, I don't know all the legal jargon, but uh, they're blocking like Microsoft's uh, acquisition of Activision Blizzard. So not that I think that uh, Microsoft would be saving this game or anything. I think maybe a, a change at uh, who's running things might put us in a little bit of a, a better position, a better direction, or at least it couldn't hurt. And if it does, then it's whatever, like it's 50-50 ch chance whether that, the game's going to be better or worse if it's acquired by somebody else. But I don't know, I'm in a, a weird spot where I feel like I don't care too much about what's added into the game. It's kind of like I'll hop in, check it out for a little bit, and then I'm kind of you know, out. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I think I want to start branching out and doing uh, some other games. And I think to start, it'll probably just be like one day a week. I'll keep all the same uploads throughout the whole week and maybe on like Saturday or Sunday, you know, I'll upload a video playing a different game because I don't know how confident I am with uh, COD's direction going forward because it seems like they really want to cater towards the casual audience and not, you know, us that are, are chronically online and in all these like, uh, circles of constantly like watching cod videos or on cod twitter or like in the cod subreddit we may it may seem like there's a lot of us but there's significantly more casual players than there are people that are like this involved into what's going on in cod and there's gonna be good games coming out like i i have faith in treyarch i feel like treyarch's gonna put out a good game and honestly despite how vanguard was I think Sledgehammer might do a good job with Modern Warfare 3. I, I'm not getting my hopes way up or anything, but I think maybe they'll do pretty decent. But now it seems like this is the perfect time for X Defiant to come out. I'm pretty sure it's either coming out like this month, like later this month or next month. Like it's going to be like a summer release game. And I know a lot of people weren't too, uh, you know, excited about X Defiant. Like uh, I saw a lot of like, oh, this is just another COD clone. Can't wait to see this fail or whatever. But I do think that COD needs a competitor and it's the perfect time for one. And uh, this is kind of the story of how my ranked games have gone. Yet another L. Now I'll play one more. We'll see how this goes. But it just sucks to have to throw in the towel this close to it. Because 13 wins don't seem like a lot. But when I'm playing like, I don't know, five, six games an hour, 
and I'm winning like one of them. That's 13 hours I gotta play more. And I don't got it in me. Oh, great. A search and destroy game. My most hated game mode. This dude's name perfectly sums up like uh, my thoughts on when I play COD. Some ass, but sometimes I do well. You don't know which Joe you're getting when we hop into a game. But I guess I'll be bomb, bitch. I'll get a little plant in. And now we just need to do that five more times. Holy shit, you can make that jump? I'm nasty, dude. No, I'm not. See, that's exactly why I'm just like this guy's name. I'm bad. I got skills. I'm right there with you, buddy. And just a bitch a little bit more. This has nothing to do with the game, but uh, my hand hurts. I I've been playing this so much that I, I have like a hand cramp. I haven't had like a, a gaming related like hand injury since I was like 14 and I found my copy of like Pokemon Yellow and I played it all the way in like through the game in like one run like without turning it turning it off so i think it's probably uh good for not only my mental but for my physical state that i uh give up on ranked after today also the people you meet in ranked it all feels like different variations of the same dudes like they're always there's always the guy that's like bitching throughout the whole game and nothing's ever their fault we're like if they die it's their teammates fault if they lose it's their teammates fault literally anything doesn't go the way the exact way they want it someone else is going to get chewed out for it and then there's always like a dude sniping or using some like off meta weapon which is refreshing to see because it is basically all just like tax and vets nevs and i'm using the cast off 545 right now but i've seen that thrown around a few times and then every once in a while you'll run into like some eight-year-old that's playing with like their uncle or their brother or sometimes solo and they just they're they're talking like everybody else in the game you know given all the the classic cod lingo like oh he's absolute he's one shot or you're ass bro you're so ass and those are always funny because those kids most of the time one of the best people in the lobby there we go a quick little two and a plant that's all me, baby. Oh, yeah. And I forgot the the other person that you always run into that I forgot to mention is somebody like me who's like almost never talking in game chat. Oh, that's an ace. I just ace. But you may ask, Joe, why do you never talk in game chat? Don't you want to give calls to your teammates? No, I'm scared of people. The COD community is not uh, one of the most welcoming communities out there. And like the second you fuck up, I don't know, it, it like... I get real anxious playing, so I kind of just, you know, uh, zone out, especially if I'm trying to get like a, a lot of wins in a day. I'll just throw on a show or something and, you know, try to grind out as many wins as I can. But for the most part, I ain't saying shit in these games. And maybe that's why we've lost some, but I've also won a good amount of games. So I, I feel like it doesn't really matter either way. And I guess I'm bomb bitch for the whole entire game. It's like my 18th plant. And I really don't have to do anything besides that, apparently. Oh, would you look at that? They planted B and evened out the game. Okay. And taking the lead. Fuck it, I might just go for this defuse. What's he gonna do about it? Okay, that. Maybe not the smartest move I could have made, but I figured he was far enough away. And let me rack up yet another plant. And another 1v1. Come on. Stop putting me in this situation. Okay, never mind. Put me in every situation because I win those. I actually did pretty decent in that game. I had an ace and I planted the bomb four times. That was probably my best game of search and destroy. Like, in this game. But it looks like we're going to be maxing out on our wins at 88. I don't think I can go any further. But I figured I'd hop on here and bitch to you guys about all my complaints about ranked and how I'm too ass to get all the way up to 100. And again, thank you to those of you in the comments, you know, offering to play with me and carry me to my wins. But I feel like, uh, you know, I, this is something I got to do. You know, I got to earn this. I can't just have like people that are actually good at the game carry me all the way there. I need some sort of challenge to it, and this challenge beat my ass this time around. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.